Hi guys, welcome to my bathroom spring clean with me for 2019. Here's all the products that I'll be using and I'll talk more about them during the process. But I went ahead and started with wiping down my mirror. It always gets so many water spots, so I just go ahead and wipe that down with the Method Glass Cleaner in the Mint Scent. This is a really nice product. So I just wipe that down with a paper towel. Next, I moved on to wiping down the counters, so I moved everything out of the way and I'm using my Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Cleaner and the Basil Scent to do this. Also, if at any point you guys are interested in any of the products that I'm using, I will leave my link down below for Grove Collaborative, that's where I get all of my cleaning products. So I'll leave my link down there for you guys. If you use my link, you'll get a bunch of free products if you just spend $20, so I'll have that down there for you guys if you're ever interested. After the counter and sink were clean, I moved on to the shower, which is the worst chore in the world in my opinion. But I went ahead and removed all of our products from the shower so I could work from a clean slate and then I got working on it. For this process, I used the Mrs. Meyers Tub and Shower Cleaner in the Lemon Scent. It's not my favorite, but it's what I have right now, so it is what I'm using. It gets the job done. Oh, here you go. This is a view of the shower and tub beforehand. It wasn't that bad, but I'm trying to stay ahead of it so it's never really that bad. I start by getting the surface wet with water and then I just go ahead and spray it with the cleaner. And then I just use a normal dish sponge and I use the scrubby side to just wipe down all the surfaces. I feel like that's the best way to get it done just to get all the crevices and whatnot and it has a little bit of like the abrasive surface to get anything that might be stuck on like soap scum or anything like that.
ahead and wipe down the outside of the tub. I don't typically do this, but the day prior to this we had given Spike a bath, so his hair had just clung to everything. So I just used my Mrs. Myers and the basil scent again to wipe down the outside of the tub. After the tub was finished, it was time to move on to the toilet, so I'm using my Clorox wand to scrub the toilet. This is my new favorite cleaning product. I think I've talked about it before, but I love that you just grab the wand, put the cleaner on the end of the wand, scrub the toilet as much as you need to, and then you just throw that little piece away and you're done with it. I love it so much because you never have to touch the product, especially because it has bleach in it. So I did the inside of the toilet bowl and then I took everything off of the back of the toilet and I wiped down the whole surface with, again, my Mrs. Myers basil spray. So this is where the spring cleaning part of this video comes in. I removed everything off of the floor, including the rugs, the trash can, all of that stuff I took off of the floor because pretty soon here we're going to be deep cleaning the floor. So I went ahead and removed anything so I had a clean slate and then I went ahead and started by wiping down all the cabinets. Once again just using my Mrs. Meyers basil spray and a clean towel. The Mrs. Meyers surface sprays are absolutely the best because you can use them on literally any surface so that's why I'm using it majority throughout this video just because it's so easy and you don't have to grab like 12 different products to bring into one room to clean it. Next I went around really quickly and hit all of the baseboards with my fluffy duster. This just took a few seconds but it really makes a big difference when your baseboards are free of any dust and pet hair. So I did that and then the next thing I did was sweep the floors just to get any dog hair, any dust, any dirt off of the floor before we go ahead and deep clean it. Pretty sure almost every single clip out to the rest of the video is going to have Spike in it. He was just sick of me cleaning and he just wanted to be with me so I'm sorry if he interrupts the shot but he just really wanted to be with his mama while I clean. So you can see all that pet hair that just collects in the bathroom which is so gross. So then I switched over to deep cleaning the floors. So for this I fill up my big pail with really hot water and I mix in a bunch of dish soap. So that might sound weird but that's what I feel like does the best. So then I grab my big scrubber and I just scrub the floors with that. I just go in little sections piece by piece. I'll scrub that section and then I will just dry it down with a towel make sure I get all of the soap up.
Cleaning the floors on your hands and knees like this is definitely the hardest part of spring cleaning for me, but luckily the bathroom is small so it's not that hard. So after that I like to steam mop the floors just because sometimes the leftover soap residue can make the floor really slippery or maybe even sticky. So I like to just go around and hit all the floors with the steam mop just to really sanitize everything, get any leftover soap residue up, and just make the floors really shine. So this is the last step before we put everything back in the bathroom. And before I put the rugs back in the bathroom, I wanted to quickly go outside and shake them out just to get any excessive pet hair, um, just anything like that out of the rug. So I went and hit them on the side of the wall and then it was time to put everything back in the bathroom and then we were almost done. So that is it for this cleaning video you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what room you'd like to see me deep clean next. I plan on doing the whole apartment so just let me know what you want to see next. And here is the final product, a nice fresh clean bathroom. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!